The never ending wars. This time around, the pickup truck wars continue. Hello, guys, and welcome to the all new 2022 Hyundai Santa Cruz SAV Sports Adventure Vehicle. Yesterday, we we're all privileged to welcome Hyundai's newest supposed paysetter, the Santa Cruz SAV. And today, we decided to pitch the truck facet, emphasis on truck aspect of the SAV to the two stated vehicles that apparently fall close to the mid-size pickup truck space. Though Hyundai titles it as a forging of a new path, the sports adventure vehicle path. Compact to mid-size pickup trucks are looming. They are coming. Well, to better make due to this subject i believe we need to fully comprehend the totality of the novel santa cruz so we can contextualize it appropriately to the 2021 honda ridgeline and the chevy colorado in the track bit i will then expatiate the 2021 santa cruz in a jiffy and put the numbers together However, if you can't wait, kindly use the video's timestamp to propel to the comparison parts of the whole video. Thank you so much. Let's get down to business. The Hyundai Santa Cruz. Personally, the Hyundai Santa Cruz reflects a duality of purpose in its design execution. This all-new category bending vehicle holds a variety of imagery in sensible appositions. Appositions like urban life connectivity with escape to outdoor adventure, work and play flexibility, tough yet alluring demeanor, ruminance with maneuverability, open cargo area and secure lockable storage, towing capability and efficiency. You might get what I'm saying, yeah. So Santa Cruz boasts bold yet sophisticated design. So looking at the track behind us, it has that sophisticated bold design, powerful and efficient powertrain options lined up as we already know, a flexible open bed for gear, cutting edge connectivity and a high maneuverable all-wheel drive platform that is equally at home in urban and adventure focused environment let's take a look at what we are describing so the forward view of the hyundai santa cruz deploys a hidden lighting signature that becomes visible within the grill only when illuminated when we look at the track that is what we are looking at okay the daytime running lamps that you see there present a parametric jewel design to me with a high-tech precision detailing comes bold cascading grill anchors from the front view supported by the skip plate element in the lower front fascia this is generally how i see the front of the vehicle that we are all looking at and when we tend to look at it in profile the santa cruz signals a sporty yet capable spirit right so look at the a pillar look at the c pillar they both present fast forward and railroad takes than typical open bed utility vehicles that we've known and this particular vehicle comes on a 20 inch alloy wheel with a multifaceted triangular design surrounded by armor like wheel axe conveying both wheel articulation potential and off-road capability which later when we put this car to test we'll be able to affirm now let's turn to the back and the rear end of the vehicle a horizontal t lighting signature that we see there adds a visual width and distinguishes the hyundai santa cruz from anything on the road right the functional rear open bed area features a secure lockable in bed storage yes that that you're looking at yes integrated corner bumper steps in a lockable tony cover which is cleverly done when the cover is inward i bet you you can never tell that there is a cover in there which comes with a seamless integration with the overall design the real tail lamps are embossed with you know in quotes designed in california bit which i don't think is really necessary but you know they put it there let's look at the interior also the interior per first impression expresses how sophisticated and refined the appearance of the santa cruz is the cockpit features an enveloping dual cockpit design that actually encapsulates each passenger in the vehicle i probably think the design team focused on the ease of ingress and egress and ergonomic comfort on the long drives to have designed it the way they did the premium center stack display features an edgeless infotainment screen yes as it appears with an impressive 8 inches to 10.2 inches of visibility the optional center digital cluster display also measures 
10 inches wide and under the rear seat there is a convenient in cabin storage and an eight speaker Bose system audio that is all around in this particular vehicle that we are looking at probably wondering powertrain and efficiency there are only two i believe you might have even heard of it the santa cruz offers just two powerful flexible and efficient powertrains the standard one is the 2.5 liter direct injected inline four cylinder engine with an estimated 190 plus horsepower and 180 plus pound feet of torque and that engine is mated to an eight speed hydraulic automatic transmission for quick acceleration and superb efficiency i'll just throw a little bit more light on it in a jiffy again the secondary option which is a much tougher option is the santa cruz 2.5 liter direct injected turbocharged engine with an estimated 275 plus horsepower and 310 pound feet of torque and that is also linked to an eight speed dual clutch automatic transition a dct and this dct includes steering wheel mounted paddle shifters for manual shifting true to my words let me throw a little bit more emphasis on the eight speed automatic transmission that is standard on the um, 2.5 liter four cylinder engine so the eight speed transmission on that vehicle provides quick and crisp shifts for an engaging and efficient driving experience how do they do this let me tell you about it this automatic transmission adds ratio range at both the top and the bottom of the output speeds allowing for extra thrust of the line and a quieter and more efficient trip on the interstate that is made possible with a multi-disc and an individually controlled hydraulic channel torque converter which improves responsiveness by expanding the direct connection band while a downsized oil pump and a double ball bearing minimize frictional losses which i believe is cleverly cleverly done we are yet to put it to test and confirm this in the real world if it's the same as what hyundai communicated Let's then think about the advanced H track all who drive and the towing capabilities because at some point if you're a track owner you would want to carry and tow and push things around okay so both the 2.5 liter four cylinder engine and the turbocharged engine offer each track all who drive capability when pursuing adventures of all kinds and even in snowfall so just as we are seeing it you are equipped for some level of off-road and terrain adventures the h track all-wheel drive system was actually developed as a multi-mode providing an electronic variable torque split with an active torque control between the front and the rear axles now what this does is that it has a wide range of torque distribution variability tuned for conditions such as straight line acceleration medium and high speed cornering and hail starts so then the multi-duality or the duality of purpose comes out here where it can do a little bit of all those things when you have the hyundai santa cruz for those customers that would like to tow gears over the weekend the 2.4 liter four cylinder engine is rated at 3500 pounds of towing capacity and then the turbocharged version or who drive boost of a generous 5,000 pounds of towing capacity so you can get that in this truck it looks smallish though but i believe if these numbers are true to what has been told then it's really aggressive and it offers a lot more in a towing capacity but we'll relate it to the ps when we get to that level at this point i would really want to touch on the dimensions of the vehicle that makes it maneuverable superbly but i would put all those details in the description section however the santa cruz makes an efficient use of its compact dimensions by offering high utility with excellent maneuverability and the numbers like i said will go into that but we'll circle that when we are pitting the vehicles together when it comes to how it behaves against the chevy and then the honda ridge line right so then i'll jump to the tires and it comes equipped with the 20 inch alloy wheels what you're looking at 20 inch all season all-terrain tires gives sure-footed agile handling character on variety of road surfaces however there is also an 18 inch wheel a little bit smaller 
with more voluminous tie side walls for off-roading adventures if you really are that type that would want to put this machine to the test then you probably consider the 18 inches comes with a whole slew of hyundai smart sense safety and convenience equipment the santa cruz offers over more than 11 excellent and convenience features so this vehicle is really really equipped okay with an array of advanced safety technologies here to mention a few We've got the advanced driver assistance system the ads we've got the forward collusion avoidance assistance you've got the blind spot collusion avoidance assistance you've got the rear cross traffic collusion avoidance assistance lane keep highway driving blind spot surround view safe exit assist you've got even smart cruise control and driver attention warning um technology and build here then again that's the only, only thing you have if you go inside it as they announced there is the advanced infotainment connectivity and convenience packages all over the santa cruz offers a standard 8 inch and tops up at 10.25 inches color touchscreen comes with wireless apple carplay and android auto what else can you put in if you don't do this now you also got the santa cruz digital key supported by a dedicated smartphone app and that digital key is currently only compatible with phones using android operating system which i believe is a setback they have to hurry up because the android operating system is not all there is now the santa cruz navigation system also offers a split screen functionality that enables multitasking capabilities with an eight speaker bose premium sound and then you've got all the blue link connected system features from remote engine starts to remote profile management and the whatnots lastly you get the hyundai complementary maintenance and america's best warranty offers that hyundai puts on their cars this is what we've been all waiting for how small is small and we can only tell when we contest the Lona Santa Cruz to its peers, the 2021 Ridgeline and Colorado. In this case, we've gathered key dimensional details of the Santa Cruz and we pit these figures against those of the Honda Ridgeline and then the Chevrolet Colorado Crew Cup. So let's then get down to business, the long and the short. At 195.7 inches long, the 2022 Hyundai Santa Cruz is 14.5 and 17 inches shorter than the Ridgeline and the Colorado Crew Cup respectively, okay? The Hyundai 66.7 inches height is also down by 3.6 and 4.1 inches to those of the all and four wheel drive Honda and Chevy vehicles we are discussing here. The Santa Cruz smaller size ought to make it more maneuverable in urban environments than the larger ridge line in the colorado now predictably the little pickup sacrifices bed space as a result with a maximum length of 52.1 inches the santa cruz rear box is 9.6 inches smaller in length to the colorado crew cup standard bed and 11.9 inches of the ridge line like the Honda though, the Hyundai packs a trick looking storage area under its bed floor as we have seen all through the video for additional cargo space and security. Presumably, Santa Cruz buyers would be happy to trade some bed space for more city friendly exterior dimensions. Will these same consumers willingly sacrifice payload and towing capacity for Hyundai's size convenience? that's rhetorical but let's find out the santa cruz maximum towing capacity as stated earlier is 5,000 pounds when equipped with a turbocharged engine manages to match the larger ridge lines figure and as you might expect it does fall short by 2,000 to 2,700 pounds of the body on frame colorado's maximum figure when equipped with its 3.6 liter v6 or 2.8 liter table diesel engine stick with a naturally aspirated four cylinder engine and you have a maximum towing capacity of about three thousand pounds the same as the base four cylinder colorado given its diminutive size the santa cruz towing capacity ought to satiate the needs of a large number of buyers but if you need more than that number of towing capability then you have to look elsewhere because that's all the santa cruz is offering now how about payload the santa cruz's payload capacity range starts from 1410 and tops up at 1700 pounds 
for reference the ridge line in colorado offer maximum payload capacity of 1583 that's 1583 and 1550 pounds respectively the four cylinder colorado crew cap shorts bed meanwhile offers a 1400 pounds which is good on the side of the santa cruz when it comes to payload because you look at size engine and efficiency and you are delivering as much as 1400 to 1700 then you're great like earlier stated compact trucks are coming back and we can think of plenty of reasons for you to choose the smaller and stylish santa cruz over the larger mid-size pickups given its small stature the santa cruz predictably can't match its larger competitors maximum capabilities or bed volume although many of the differences aren't as stark as it might look initially buyers will simply need to decide what's most important to them and these are the areas we have identified for now auto stop will update with a newer episode when the vehicle becomes more reachable to us and speaking of pickup truck options click on the left top corner for the review of the super truck 2022 gmc hammer ev truck if you're interested thank you so much for watching have a great time until we meet again same time bye bye